ever had like a neighbor from hell or like a bad neighbor. It was actually like the first place I'd moved into with mm-hmm. Sydney. We moved into this house, basically a house that has been like, it's been cut up yeah, to have yeah, several yeah. people living in it. We didn't realize how thin the walls were. And we had a guy living above us that he was old. At the beginning, he tried to be a nice neighbor and we tried to be nice neighbors as well. We soon came to realize that this guy had massive anger issues. Every time we'd shut the door a bit too loudly, at first he'd tell us to be careful, it's fine. Nothing happened for a month. And then at around 7 p.m., I just yanked it and I was like, oh shit, that was a bit loud. Literally comes downstairs, fucking... What the fuck did I tell you? Yo, what the fuck is going on? I go up to him and it was, yo bro, let's talk it out. Let's come to an understanding here. We talk it out and he's very polite and very calm. A week later, I'm literally just having a normal volumed conversation with Sydney. And instead of shouting, he starts walking around like really loudly, like starts smashing down on the floor like this, right? right? I mean, me and Sydney were like, what the fuck is going on? So like, I go back upstairs and I'm like, is everything okay? Are you having like a stroke, a heart attack? What's going on? And he was like, look, You're being fucking loud and I just wanted to teach you a lesson. This is what you get for speaking loudly. Some days we'd just be talking and then he'd just randomly start banging his fridge doors or like his cupboard doors, like making a lot of noise. The relationship went from me trying to talk it out with him to being like, dude, what the fuck is your issue? And he's like, bro, I used to work in the police. Don't fuck with me, man. If I wanted, I get the boys over and I'd get you out. Don't fuck with me. On the last night, where we moved out. Sydney was already gone because she had gone back home to America. Second Amendment, yeah! So it was just me and a mate talking. And we get this bang on the fucking door. And this guy starts like screaming in my face. He's just like, I know you're about to fucking leave. I'm glad you're about to fucking leave. But like, I need to give you one last piece of my mind. Fuck you. You've been the worst fucking neighbor of my entire life. And then he starts going off about how he's part of the police again. I'm like, bro, calm the fuck down. I'm just like, dude, back the fuck off. (laughs) And then he looks me straight in the eye and he's like, go on, have a swipe, have a swipe. (laughs) Go on, go on. I straight up look him in the eye and tell him, dude, you don't know who you're dealing with here. I was a fucking monk. I'm not going to punch you. (laughs) (laughs) So how did you stay in there for a year and a half? What a cunt. <laughs> Jesus. I probably just get to the point where I just start making noise to piss him off. You know what I should have done? Just gotten some nice- Always cancelling headphones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have, bro. Yeah. I mean, like, what's he gonna do? Break down your door? Like, nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, you're too loud! <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you to Fiong who collaborated on this video with me. Thank you to the Mr. Man Animal Talent for inviting me over to his channel. It was honestly a super fun experience to be able to work alongside such a talented artist and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye! Fiong also makes her own trash taste animated videos on her own channel, so go check those out. Those are much better than the ones I make here. Also, big thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like behind the scenes access to the videos, then consider supporting me on there and I hope you have a rad day.